This is a demonstration of how to run the social media data analytics software Mojday. So first you go to Google and then type in Mojday to search for the website. It should be near the top of the screen. Click on Mojday Big Data Text Analysis. There you get to the home page of Mojday. Click on the download link near the top and then right click to download Mojday on the link saying right click to download Mojday and click save link as or equivalent in your browser so I'm saving the program now to my computer now if you open the computer show in folder you'll see the program sitting in your computer and I'm going to double click on it to run it my computer doesn't let me run it because it's a program downloaded from the internet so I'm clicking more info and then run anyway to bypass this quick check. Mojday is now asking me where I want to save the folder that will be used to store its data so it's suggesting a location and I'm fine with that location so I'm going to click OK. Now it's asking me for a project name I'm going to call my project Test1. Each separate project in Mojday holds its own data and is a separate folder within the main folder created by Mojday to save its data. So click Start New Project to begin. And now Mojday is asking me for a list of keywords in order to query Twitter for some tweets. So I'm going to collect tweets about COVID-19. So my first query is COVID-19. And my second one is coronavirus. I'm going to change the language to English and I'm going to click search Twitter once. If this was a full scale data collection then I would first check keep searching until button clicked and then let Mojday go on searching for a long time but I'm just doing a quick pilot test so search Twitter once. Mojday is now asking me to log into Twitter to get permission to run the searches so I'm going to click OK to log on to Twitter and now Mojday has taken to me to my web browser and has asked me to sign into Twitter so I'm signing into Twitter and it's authorized me and it's given me a pin. So I'm copying the pin back to Mojday. So if we go back to Mojday, Mojday has given me a box to enter the pin in. And there's the pin, the same pin entered into the box. And I click OK and then the search should start going. So at the top left hand screen of uh, Mojday you should see numbers going up in hundreds indicating the number of tweets that have been downloaded and saved my computer. So the first query is finished and now it's running the second query. When it gets to 2000 on this one it will stop and start processing because it's just a pilot test. It's now asking me if I want to filter out duplicate tweets with identical text. This would include retweets after the first. So click yes to this this gets rid of unwanted duplication in your set of tweets. Now it's asking me which language and I collected in English so I'm going to accept the suggestion 1 for English and other languages using 26 letters of the alphabet and now it tells me it's preparing the project for first use and it gives me some options I'm just going to select the default these are how you want to break up the timestamps in the tweets I'm opting to collect them by day break them down by day. So now it takes a little bit of time for Mojday to do the initial processing and it's asking me what language I want to classify sentiment in. So I'll accept one for English again. And now it's ready for me to use. So I click OK again. A lot of button clicking but finally we've got there. We're now in the main search screen of Mojday and in the top left hand corner there's a box where you can enter a query and you can search the tweets that you just downloaded so we've just downloaded 2000 but I'm just going to click the search button with no query in and that should just list the tweets and Mojday reports 1904 matches in the top of the screen so although we collected 2000 tweets we've only got 1904 and that's because the rest must have been duplicate so they've been filtered out when you run a search on a computer with a small screen such as a small laptop like the one that I'm using at the moment when you run a search sometimes it scrolls Mojday down to the bottom like it has done here so here on the screen near the bottom of the screen it's listing tweets matching 
the query, which is a blank query, so it matches any tweets. If we want to search by keyword, we could enter a keyword such as mile, and then run the search, and we'll see how many of our tweets contain the word mile. So just five of them. These are the tweets that have been already searched for, the 1,904 tweets, and not searching Twitter. The initial stage searches Twitter, this just searches the tweets that you've downloaded. We can also set a filter instead of a search, or in addition to a search. For example, we could ask for tweets from just female authors. So I select the user gender female, and click search. And because I haven't run a gender search before, most ads are asking permission to download gender information so that it can detect gender. So it's done that now and it's found 337 tweets from females. And it assumes that these people are females because their first name will be a female first name according to a long dictionary of gendered first names. So that's the gender filter. And if we wanted to have a sentiment filter we could pick plus to set a positive sentiment filter and now if we search, we'll get tweets that seem to be positive. So for example, the first one is a very warm welcome. So that's positivity, very warm welcome. That's why it's included in this set. I'm going to click the blank to get rid of this query. If we wanted to run a time series, we'd click the Analyze menu and Graph time series. This won't work now because we've only got 15 minutes of data. So that's not enough for a time series. So essentially we get nothing. So back to the search page. One more thing I'd like to do is illustrate the word frequency option. So I'm going to select female again as the filter. And I'm going to scroll over to the word association mining button. Mine association for search and filters. So this is now going to find words that are more used by females than the remaining users in the data set top word is or, that's a strange one. The second word is trust. So if you look at trust, 2.1% of the female authored tweets contain the word trust, compared to only 0.3% of the remaining tweets, which is why it's classified as a female associated word. Okay, so that was a quick tour of how to use the core features of most day. Data gathering, the filtering by gender or sentiment, the searching, and the time series windows. More information on the website.